Hey everyone, Nero here. First time using that intro in a while, and today I'll be showcasing technically two mods, Slash Blade and The Last Myth. Although, I may like to show the special abilities. Die. And my special abilities will be these. That's 17. Let me get rid of this junk. I don't even have it. Okay, my ears just exploded. Which means I need to turn down the volume some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just setting something up here on my end. Don't mind me and the pause scream and the look of my handsome body. <laughs> also, if you hear sniffing, it's because I'm getting a cold. <laughs> so I'm hanging in there. And I got three spawners with wither skeletons because, well, they're good test subjects. I first we got slash dimension. Decent attack. Oh wait, I got a sword. And with the way the enchantments I have pot up on, normally on slash dimension it pushes mobs back. But I can't remember which enchantment does that on my sword. But in this case, it brings them forward. It has an okay range. There we go. Fly in the air. Why did you get knocked back? Get knocked back, bitch. Another ash. Look at withering me. Now let's knock the ash. It's those stupid skeletons. Vertical drive. One of my favorites. Good attack. Extremely long range. It's like a sniper. But it's a slash, not a bullet. There, that's a good range right there. I can kill someone from that distance, then yeah, that's a good attack. Yeah, I just murdered something. Get away from those asses. That was the too far. Boom. That's a two hit KL. First time it rained in uh, an hour. Of setting up and doing f two failed recordings. So, yeah. Wave Edge is next. It's similar to Vertical Drive, except it's a little bit closer range. I can reach a zombie from there to here. And it's pretty good damage, and it's extremely good at knocking up enemies up. What I call knock up. <coughs> I just pick up this loot. Don't know what happened here. That wasn't there before.
So that attack. It's a good knockout. I'm just gonna let them spawn. Uh, recharge my weapon that's already charged up, the son of a bitch. Let's ash it up. Come and catch me. There you go. Ow. I want some more. I want one more. Give me more, 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 more. I have like more crabs. Okay, let me get moving further. Way of skeletons. Pretty good kill. Yeah, it doesn't have the long range as the uh, vertical drive. But it does have more knockback. Oh, wait, knock up. That's more like it. Destroyed. Drive is next, and no, we're not driving any cars. It's basically just like vertical drive, except it's horizontal, and it looks like it's a little bit faster and not as long range. Doesn't go down range as much. I probably should have set a redstone system. Oh no, it has good range! It has pretty good range. These brother bows do shit. Eh, 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 eh. Zombie. That's a kill switch right there. A little shithead shut the up. Uh, Piercing does not have a great range. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Kill. Kill. Piercing is, uh, shorter ranged. It's not the farthest, but I guess you could say with piercing, it puts you into the action. Like so. Oh. That's a little bit of a brain fart right there. I had drive on, not piercing. I didn't even bother putting the fucking thing in. Now instead of shooting something forward, it should shoot ourselves forward. Yeah, the jump is a little bit better with range. Now let's spawn some wither heads. Don't smoke them. 
Explosive slash, I cut off a moving edge attack. Don't know what enchantment does, if it does if it is an enchantment, but it sticks them with a summon sword in their chest, which explodes and goes, makes them go flying. It ain't the greatest damage wise, but it's good for literally blowing through enemies. I'm going to get a few summoned. It's a good grinder tool. Though it's not the best damage wise. But it's good. That's stunning. I thought it's stuck in them. Are you more? Alright. That was piercing. The next one, no one can avoid if they are around you. Because, well, they can't. And we got a horde, so that's perfect. Super Slash is in all directions. That's why it's called a Circle Slash. Though enemies behind you get flung in front of you. Odd. So I didn't do a whole lot of demonstrating on that. I do need to let my sword... Oh, hang on. Thank you for fucking dying. That's what they totally sound like. I'm trying to cough up a hairball. Die! Blistering Weather Swords. It's actually one of my favorites. Excellent range. And it also can apply the weather effect on your foes. <sighs> Buy white grape juice. It's uh, how do I say it? Very refreshing for your bark, for your beak. I don't know. Can't even speak. That. You think that's it? You think that's it? It's just a simple slash? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Observe. It's a missile launcher, basically. Hello. That's weird, that's only launcher in one. Oh, I heard more that time. Oh, fuck. That was a fuck up. Yeah, got a shit ton of power. It's it usually launches more than one. I don't know why it's doing that. I guess it didn't have enough power. Anyway, that was Blistering Weather Swords, Sakura N. So 
Really good to end the, a combo. For some reason, I'm not getting the, uh... Combo icon on that, on the... The, uh, mid-right-hand part of the screen. Where that spider is right now, it's usually around right where the icons are for like the ranking system, like B, C, D, A, S, 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 and S, 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 but I don't know why it's not showing up. Thank you for opening the inventory with the wrong key. It's just a superior slash, it just really are. Ugh, short range. Really short ranged. I mean, just look at this thing. Can do a whole lot though. But it is decent knockback, I will say that. Though this next one is a bit different. These next, uh, quote-unquote, special abilities are from the add-on mod, The Last Smith. That's weird. And the first one's called Maximum Bet. The only thing you're betting is their lives. <laughs> it's a combination of the drive, both vertical. I guess you could say it's both vertical and, uh, Regular drive because of their speed and ranges, and secure at end because of the double attack. And some weird third slash that doesn't show up. It's a pretty fun one. Ugh. It's one of my favorites as well. And it has a ridiculous range. I think it's even farther than the, uh, drive. That was my fingers. My neck cracked earlier, but you probably didn't hear shit. Really awesome range, and it can also one-shot some people. Especially at uh, like a closer range. Like that zombie right there. Don't know if they killed him. Oh, he's flying, fine. Bad attempt, because I was right next to him and I killed him with the, f with the first slash being the basic slash. And it sometimes can one shot him if you get him in the right position. There we go. Back up to a wall. Right, I got hordes forming, so let's get rid of the assholes that are called the horde. Now, you may be wondering, why is there another Slash Dimension in there? Well, this is a slightly different version of the original Slash Dimension. In the mod's old days, it was not the big blue sphere that was in the original uh, Slash Dimension that you know that I showed today. Now, it used to be something completely different. Can't show you because I don't have anything to hit. Hey, hit, can you, uh, give me a hand? Discreet Dragon Ball Super reference. <laughs> now it's gonna be for these blockhead skeletons. <laughs> oh, you fucking. Urgh, you don't want to do this. It's called having a touch screen. <laughs> I hope you're dizzy. Nah, I'm kidding. I hope you don't get dizzy. <laughs> the 
yeah, I'm trying to do this is a pain in the ass. I'm getting dizzy just by looking at this bitch. Higher sword recharges? Well, you can see that blue bar around the sword. Get it bigger. It uses your experience when not selected. Now it's about the full. The explosive slash again, limit edge. Only occurs on a full durability sword. That's weird, that's gonna right for me. It's still the existing hit scan attack though. You kind of saw it right there. But I need someone to actually hit! I'm just gonna keep jumping. There we go. Back up. Let me get back up so I can use my backup. Slash dimension S is a bit interesting. The S stands for slash. Uh, this is slash dimension with a little extra kick. As, as a bit more, as, as a few slashes around the actual attack itself. Don't even get to see it. Those little slap, those little blue lines there. You can yeah, see it there. In one of my previous recordings, I have a, I had a really great shot. The slash is mentioned slash. That was a oh, there's that combo system. Was I just not noticing it before, or just have to be a bitch and just start to show up now? Re life or re life or ray life. This is one of a few that is not an attack, but it's more like a defensive skill because, well, watch what it does. Gives you fire resistance and uh, regeneration uh, for four by four seconds. Yeah, regeneration and fire resistance is four, four, four seconds. Oh my god. That's enough fours for one day. Sword skill and power up sword skill are very similar, but must need the exact same attack. One, you can't see anything that goes on, one, you can. Both attacks have two different modes. A grab mode and an air mode. <laughs> Don't know if you hear my voice, but I'm starting to get congested. Oh, stupid. Get back there. The task bar just opens up and it's giving me a view of every single window. And I want this window to show up, idiot. Air attack is a s direct strike. 
We got a ground road. Seems to attack the enemy from within. Although powered up sword skill is actually a bit more powerful. The direct strike had two slashes, an up and a sideways one. You can kind of see the swords. Die, you bitch. You can see the swords. It sticks into them, it launches a ton of swords at them. And the air flying one launches about 400 slashes. Fuck off, weather. <laughs> That's the air version. And that's the gravity. It sticks them with like eight different summon swords that will explode after a while. Or should I say shatter? It's pretty okay damage wise. Though it needs improvement. The uppercut is the real heavy hitter of the bunch. The final three. Cleave through confusion, the lightning. Why don't we got cleave through confusion? Cleave through confusion is the passive art skill, defensive. Gives you speed four. That could be for uh, speed two for a whole minute. Oh, the other one, Delusion of Enlightenment. That's something different. It gives you blindness for four seconds, and then speed three and strength two for four minutes. Now you need to get a lot of to reach this bitch. And the last one I'm going to show you is Aya. Oh, that's an interesting word because it's kind of a combo ender and a interesting attack. I need to the hit. Because all you get is you whacking the shit out of a blade. It's also the wave. Although the eye I saw the other day was something different. Oh well. Doesn't really matter anyway. I'm done recording this stupid video. Well, it's not stupid, but I recorded like three times. Just to get this to come out. And even then it's not perfect. You probably can hear it through my headphones. Which are off my head and off the bed. Oh, by the way, I just wonder, I decked my sword out with a, with a bunch of good achievements. Power increases the strength of the blistering wither swords. Respiration gets, I guess this has to do with the, uh, the, uh, water walking. For the Fallen Four, well, you kind of saw it a couple times. Power protection, duh. Thorns, duh. Parts. Not so sure. I need to watch that video. And I just got one last thing to show you. Without the sword. I'm as slow as fuck. With the sword, I am as fast as the flash. Or should I say water flash? That kind of a depth strike of three, it's speed two.
weird. Anyway, that is it for Slash Blades in the last myth. Special abilities or should I say special attacks. Let me know which one of the attacks was your favorite. I will leave timestamps for them and a general description of the in the description below if I can get around to it. And if I can remember, I will link the mods in the description. The ones I've used. And if you want any other mod, just ask me in the comments. And comment down below what other mods you want me to review. Because I do plan on reviewing the Agenda mod, the Titans mod, and the Mo Withers mod. All three were made by the same creator, but they are some okay mods. Especially Agenda and Titans. Anyway, this is Nero, signing off again. And you know, as always, I will see you in another Minecraft video, or a video in general, whichever one I come around to. Peace!